can somebody say? Uh, you gotta stay together, um, look at a film, get better. What's it like for you personally, though, in this kind of situation? Like, what are you feeling right now? Um, uh, we just lost, so I'm not feeling good, so, um, you gotta look at the film and get better. Now, after one of your titles, you're to make a reference to the other on Michigan. Now, can you confirm that and what kind of one you Yeah, I mean, I was. I was just trying to have fun. I'm fairness about it. What did Blake really do to, with the heavy package? Did they change things up running the football in the second half versus the first half when you guys were able to slow them down running the football? Uh, you talk about Blake as in a running back? Yeah. Um, I mean, he's a good running back. They have a good offensive line, good quarterback. Um, and they found ways to, you know, make plays in the run game. That's about it. Deny your defense seems to keep giving the, the more chances there in the second half and 14 punts. How do you feel about the way you're able to provide opportunities for the offense during the second half? Um, <clears throat> yeah, we tried defense, went out there and played offense, did what they could. Um, we got a standard. We got to uphold it at all times, no matter what the circumstances is on defense. I felt like in a lot of third and longs, they kept getting the ball out quick, even running the ball. How were they able to neutralize your pass rush, your prowler package, and what was the challenge of trying to deal with that early in the game and also throughout the game? Yeah, they got a lot of explosive runs on third and long. <clears throat> we were in our prowler practice sometimes, and they would hit the open gaps. Um, and then sometimes we couldn't get our prowler package out, in there, out there on third down. And like you said, they would get it out quick or hit open gaps. Did a good job. What did it mean to get chopped back today? Which one? Good. What, what did it mean to get shot back today? He seemed pretty effective coming back. Yeah, Chop is a great player. Um, great teammate. Does what he can. He supports us all the time. I think he had a great game. Excuse me. Sorry. Did Michigan do anything on offense that surprised you? Surprise us? Not really. Uh, they uh, just had, you know, weird formations, as in multiple tackles and multiple linemen on one side. That's different than any other team we play. But we went over it all week, and uh, we didn't do our job to the fullest. So. What did you hear from Michigan players on the field? Were they talking trash at all? Um, no, nah, not really. They weren't talking trash, at least to me. I don't know about anybody else, but I didn't hear much. What does this team need to do to take the next step in, in big games like this and beat the Michigan and Ohio States? Um, what do we got to do? We got to... Well, I don't know about the offense. I know defense, we just can't give up 24 points. It's too many. Uh, we went over the stuff all week, and we just can't can't do that. Did you, guys, did you guys anticipate Michigan would run the ball as much as they did, considering they've been a pretty pass-first team this year? <clears throat> uh, yes and no. We looked at the film. Obviously, like you said, they've been a pretty much pass team, and we expected that. And then towards the end, they started to run when they had a successful run. So. We just had to adjust to answer your question. Not necessarily we were expecting to see more passes, but when they get successful runs, I mean, it makes sense to keep running the ball. Deny, I know it's difficult to, to digest right now, but coming in tomorrow, Sunday, two losses, that, that playoff goal, the Big Ten title goal, it's kind of off the table now. What, what's the most important thing for you guys to do here tomorrow and, and moving forward? Most important thing is to get better after this loss. We can't um, harp on it too long. Focus on Rutgers and whoever we got next week. That's it. So now, I'm sorry if you've been asked or not, uh, your sack celebration, when did you come up with that? What was the response like from your sideline? Uh, my sack celebration, I just looked at our sideline because I was happy. So just trying to have fun out there. What makes Michigan's run game so difficult to stop? I mean, they're. Blake Horn was a really good running back. He knows how to hit the, uh, the open gaps. He knows how to be patient with his runs, and they have a good offensive line. Michigan ran for 400 some yards in you last year. They had another nice day. Do you think, is there something that they're doing differently that other teams aren't attacking you? Uh, truthfully, I don't know. They're a great team, like I said. They have a good running back and a good offensive line. Tonight, what kind of teammate are you after a loss? I know some people like to you know, stay quiet or you know, talk to other teammates. Is that, is that kind of how you are? Yeah, I try to be a good teammate at all times, be there for my brothers. But what can you say after a game like this? Uh, we got to get better, look at a film tomorrow. We're going next week.
Deny what positives can you take away from this game? <clears throat> um, I say we stayed together throughout the game. We didn't panic even when they got up. That's what I can say. They didn't throw a pass in the second half. Were you guys aware of that? Did you talk about that? They, all they were doing was running the ball. And how'd you react to that? I mean, how'd you guys react to that? Yep, we made adjustments at halftime. Like I said earlier, they did a lot of stuff with the tackle over and the tight end. So it was like four guys on one side. So we did make adjustments at halftime. And uh, we didn't do enough to stop it. What was Manny Diaz's message to you guys after this? <clears throat> um, to go look at film tomorrow, get better, and then focus on Rutgers next week. What are you thinking? You're dealing with this. I know you're one after a game like that. Um, I mean, you just lost, so you just gotta. I don't know. I wasn't. I didn't know what happened, to be honest. I'm just out there just trying to give it my all. We got to look at the film. If I'm being completely honest, I don't know all the ins and outs um, of what happened, things like that. So. Did you catch any of what fans booing, some were throwing stuff toward the field? Did you catch or notice any of that as you guys walked off? No, not not me. I don't pay attention to the fans necessarily. I appreciate I appreciate all the ones that do support. I love for the Penn State University, but when people boo us, half of them wouldn't step on the field if they had the opportunity to. So it doesn't affect me. Deny, how much do losses affect you? How much do you take them to heart? Um, <clears throat> I take it a lot, a lot to heart. I mean, I'm a competitor. I don't like to lose. We're Penn State, so losing really shouldn't be acceptable. Um, That's about it. I got. What, I got. Was, what was Coach Franklin like after the game? Same as the other coaches, just trying to say tomorrow, got to look at the film. Don't go out and do any dumb things tonight. Just try to stay together. Good. And I do games against like highly ranked opponents like Michigan. Do they feel different than normal games, like as far as intensity or anything like that? For me personally, no. How'd you decide on the uh, sack celebration you had? I think it was in the, in the second half. The, the TFL? Yeah, the TFL. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, I was just trying to have fun out there. Obviously, whatever they got going on, just trying to make fun of it, man. If you don't have fun with this, it's going to be boring. So just trying to have fun. Thanks, guys. Thanks.